If you are overwhelmed by your business goals, it happens, right? Some people even say it's a good thing. I disagree. If you're overwhelmed, you're not going to be taking action. If you're not taking action, you're not going to be reaching the goal. And therefore, what's the point? However, just because your goal overwhelms you doesn't mean there's anything wrong with a goal. It doesn't mean that the goal is too big. It might just mean that how you're approaching that goal needs to change. Let me explain. I'm Tara Wagner, breakthrough coach and lifelong entrepreneur. I help other entrepreneurs use a holistic approach to business so they can create profits they can depend on without burning themselves out. If that sounds like your jam, be sure to check out my free training on how you can do the same. There are actually four different things. I messed that up. There's three. There's three different things that I want you to examine about your approach to your goal to understand if that's what's causing your overwhelm. The first is whether or not you're doing too much. Now, yes, doing too much can apply to the fact that you have set a goal that is just too big for where you're at right now or what you're capable of doing in this season of your life or your business. These are what we call stretch goals. And if you haven't seen this video, I'll link it somewhere around here where you can really learn what a stretch goal is and when it's appropriate and help you to figure out if my goal is too big, when might be a better time for this goal. However, that's not the only time that doing too much comes into play. One of the things we talk about a lot in the Breakthrough Boss Inner Circle is this idea of pacing ourselves, of doing one thing at a time and figuring out what that one thing should be. When you have a big goal, that might be okay as long as you're not trying to do all of it at once. You need to sit down, break down that bigger goal into a smaller bite-sized chunk, something that you can focus on for now before you reach into the stuff you're gonna be doing later. If you're sitting down looking at the entire scope of your goal and all the things that need to be done, of course you're going to feel overwhelmed because you can't do all the things. So what can you be doing? What's just the first thing you need to focus on in your goal? When you get into that focus, you're going to be able to take more action on it, see the progress, get the momentum, get excited, and that's going to build on itself. Comment below and let me know if you think you're focusing on too much of your goal at once, and if you think you might need some support in breaking it down into just your first steps. Number two, your head might just not be on straight. And look, there's no judgment. All of us can get our head not on straight at certain times. What I'm really talking about here is your mindset, what you're believing about yourself, about money, about goals, about success, about failure, about capabilities, your confidence level. All of those things are gonna determine what you're focusing on. Are you focusing on all the what ifs? Are you focusing on all of the fears? Are you focusing on what other people might think of you? Are you focusing on the fact that you've never done this before? Where is your head going? Going. Where are your thoughts going and where are they taking your emotions and where is that directing your actions? Because what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're believing underneath the surface of it all, your thoughts and emotions on the exterior could look good, but on the interior could be a hot mess, right? We've all played that game where we kind of shine ourselves on and we put on our positivity hats and we just, we're got this, we're gonna be amazing. But underneath it all, we still have that driving force, that old belief that's telling us, no, it's not. You're a hot mess. This is gonna be a hot mess. It's never gonna work, right? If you get little teeny tiny nudges of a thought and it's like 99% you're hyped up and positive, but you keep getting this little tiny nudge that's a sign that something needs to be adjusted in your mindset because that underlying thought, even though it is not your main thing that you're feeling or thinking, it's still your driving force and it's still going to determine what you're capable of doing or how you're feeling about what you're trying to work on. So what do you believe about your goal? Do you believe it's too big for someone like you? Do you believe you don't have the skill or the capability? Do you believe that this is just not in the cards for you or that the timing is not right? All of those things, that focus is going to create the overwhelm when you look at what needs to be done if you believe that your goal is not just big, but bigger than you. Again, this is normal. We all go through it. 
congratulations and welcome to the club. None of us get away with this unless we are just not doing anything in our life. But if you're doing something, guess what? You're gonna have to outgrow some old beliefs, some old mindsets, some old way of thinking and doing, even things that are not logical, make no sense, and you know are BS, but are still beneath the surface, creating that driving force. This is why a big part of the inner circle focuses on how do we actually change those driving forces because if you don't, it will eventually lead to things like overwhelm when you're looking at your goals. Number three, you might just be focusing on the wrong parts of your goal. We've talked about focus in the other two, right? Your focus in terms of your mindset, your beliefs, your thoughts and emotions. We've talked about focusing in terms of too much. Are you focusing on the big pie or a slice of the pie? But what I want you to think about now is focusing on outcome versus process. I talked about this in another video, not setting outcome goals, really setting process goals. Now, both of them are helpful, right? And the goal that you set, it's probably an outcome goal. I wanna create this, I wanna have this, I wanna do this, I wanna get to this place. Perfect, great. Don't focus on that. Don't focus on this, this place that feels so far from where you are right now. What I want you to focus on and break down is what's the process to get there? What are the daily, weekly, and monthly habits that I need to be implementing that are gonna get me to that outcome goal? If you don't know, that's okay. Get support to find those answers. Once you have them, you need to be focusing just on the process. Did I do the things I needed to do today? How can I improve, improve the things I need to do every single day? As you focus on just the process, just the little thing in front of you, you're not so overwhelmed by the big scope of something or how far off something feels. The holistic approach that I teach helps you to develop the headspace and the mental focus while figuring out the right business approach, the right strategy to help you focus on fewer things at once so that you can make progress, create profits you can depend on, and again, not burn yourself out. If you wanna learn more about that approach, along with the three mistakes I find lead to the least success, be sure to check out my free training in the description below. Leave a fist bump in the comments if you made it to the end of this video. Let me know what your biggest takeaway was. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.